Karim says, there are people who make a cappella and beatbox songs which substitute music with sounds made by hands and the mouth and mixed together to make sort of a beat. As long as the lyrics are decent and appropriate, is it allowed to listen to these songs? The scholars have disputed upon this. The reason of the, their dispute is that the Sharia came with the prohibition of musical instruments. So any musical instrument is prohibited in Islam, whether it's a guitar, a violin, a piano, a keyboard, synthesizers, uh, drums, flutes, whatever. All of these are prohibited, with the exception of the duff, which is like the tambour tambourine, or whatever they call it, and it has no metal uh, uh, things on the sides. This is only permissible in weddings, it's permissible in Eid celebrations and when some dignitary arrives who has influence over Islam and the Muslims from a travel, if he tra comes back from a journey. And this is very, very limited. Other than that, all types of musical instruments uh, um, are prohibited. Now, this is what the hadith of the Prophet والسلام, had stated, the authentic hadiths, and also the four schools of thought, the school of Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Malik, Imam Shafi'i, and Imam Ahmad, they all agree that music is prohibited in Islam. So the scholars who looked at this said, this is haram. Whatever you make with your own throat or by clapping, this is permissible. So the beatbox is permissible, uh, permissible. a cappella is permissible. Other scholars looked further and said, no, as long as we have the same impact of musical instruments, then it takes the same ruling. So for example, in the Quran, wine is mentioned frequently. So wine is intoxicating, whether it is wine, white or red, whether it is whiskey, whether it is uh, beer, whether it is bourbon, gin, tequila, vodka, whatever you call it, as long as it intoxicates, it's haram. Now, recently, they came up with new things. Methamphetamine, they have cocaine, they have heroin, they have opium, they have marijuana, they have hash, they have, you call it, you name it, they have it. And these things also intoxicate, but they're not something that you drink. So some said, no, this is not wine. Wine is what we know from dates, from uh, uh, barley, from grapes. This is what we know. Anything else is halal, which is not true. So the scholars said that whatever leads and shares the same reason for prohibition, then it shares the same ruling. And if you look at a cappella, you can listen to this song, the actual song, and dance to it and feel the groove of it. And you can listen to the a cappella and have the same feeling exactly. So there is no doubt that this is also haram, exactly like the actual song and music is haram, and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.